missing something here. You don't know. Huh? Missing something. You don't never know. I'm not working on the road every day, gum. Where you go, I reckon. Yeah. Take a gun, a bunch of nuts. They gonna pave on the road. They ought to go on up the mountain. Huh? They got flagmen out. Yeah, they probably. They been up. Uh, yep. Cut trees. Oh, they bit. They pave it. We're riding on new pavement right here. Really? Yeah. That's good. It would be if they'd come on up the mountain. Do our daggum roads. Mm. Machines. Yeah. I'm getting too much too because they stopped. Huh? You're pretty sick over here. <coughs> Don't make me record this. Or not. I bet I will. So I guarantee you I'll record him. Okay, well, hey there, how you doing? Good. Have we met before? Yeah, I think we did meet. Yeah. Okay, how are you both doing? Good. Uh, so, the only thing I got a problem with, my thumb yeah. and my pointing finger is numb. Okay, is that since we did the, the cut down in the arm? Yeah. It's because that nerve was a bit irritated, you know, from what we did uh, right. and from that bruising that. that you had. Yeah. That's going to get better over time. Okay. Okay. Well, this this here is still sore. Yeah, I bet it would be. She bruised up pretty good, yes. you know, from doing that. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, I know. But so, do you do you want us to go ahead and do that that bypass for you? Let me remind you what it entails. So it's inci an incision that we make, okay, just above your collarbone. All right. I have to dissect out the artery. Well, it's on this side: the carotid artery and the subclavian artery. Okay. And I do a bypass from that carotid artery to the subclavian artery because we tried to do a stent, right? Yeah. And, and we couldn't do it. That wasn't an option. And so we got to use the old fashioned, you know, open surgical approach. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so uh, it's, we use Gore Tex, is the material. You know, it's a, it's a synthetic tube that we use that has some rings on it that helps keep it open. Um, and so, like I said, dissect out those arteries. I, connect that Gore-Tex tube to the subclavian artery, and then I connect it to the carotid artery. So there's two of you gonna connect. Two arteries that I'm gonna connect, that's right. That's right, to help get blood flow to that arm, past that occlusion that you yeah. have, 
and that's the clavian artery. We're going to take some blood from that carotid artery, okay? That's the only thing you can do to help deal with the uh, difficulty well, you're having with that arm. This, will it help my legs? Not a damn bit. Nope. <laughs> Not a damn bit. Nope. Not that's, a bit. That's something we can address after this. Okay. If they hurt so bad, I can't, I can't walk. Yeah, well, that's something we can address after this. Unless you're telling me the legs bother you more than the arm does. Which bothers you more? Right now, my favorites are Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But my legs, honest to goodness, they bother me more than about this Than the thing. arm? Okay, well, have we looked at that yet? Because I think when you came in, we were focused on, you know, what was going on with your head and your the blood flow to your head and your arm and all that. So, I mean, we could certainly check that out. You're not doing this because you're just frightened to do the surgery and no, you're distracting uh, us with the lecture. Had, yeah. Well, actually, Dr. Uh, Willis done this one yeah. before. Okay. But this one right now here. Now that one's bothering you? Yeah. Okay. Well, what I would say we do is then, you know, just given that we know you've had work before, we'll get, we would get a CAT scan to look at the blood flow, and we would see what our options are for what we can do for you. Well, I'll tell you ahead of time, it ain't got no whole lot. <laughs> okay. All right. You, okay. Well, why don't, let's do that. Okay. You get your CAT scan, you come back and see me, and then I can explain to you what we need to do. Okay. Mother, um, didn't you say the does that up there that give you a little bit more balance it would it it, up here. i think i think a lot of it you know when you're not getting blood flow you're not getting enough oxygen too as well yeah. the doing this yeah. bypass like we talked about like as, as he correctly said will help with your balance as well as that arm well i don't have no balance no well, i can't keep them up out the floor well so so then let's let's Go maybe think this about first. this is that maybe what we should do first if that if that's causing you more problems? Well, really it is because I just can't hardly okay. walk. Well, yeah. then, well, then let's do this and then we'll deal with the legs, okay? Okay. So we'll do this at the uh, at the South Hospital on a Wednesday. Boaz. At Boaz, okay. yeah. Um, Y'all prefer there? That'd be fine. I'd rather okay. go to North, but if that's what you okay. that, that's a good hospital for them. Yeah. Um, I think in terms of having the, the post op care that we would want after, I think it'd be better, you know, because we can, you know, if we have to put you in the ICU just to monitor you overnight, you know, uh, that sort of thing, we can do that. Um, and uh, you know, we got we got time Wednesday to do that. So let's plan to do that. How are you doing with the smoking? <laughs> you know you got to get off of it, right? Okay. Um, I tell you what I am going to have you do. I'm going to have you stop the Plavix before we do this. Um, you're up, you're taking the Plavix. Who, who, put you, who put you on Plavix? Uh, no, uh, my no, uh, doctor that uh, I had a stroke. Ah, okay. For, so when you had that historically, we can leave it off then. I didn't know if, if I had put you on that. No, we you didn't. We can do it with you on that. That's okay. That's all right. Keep taking it? Yep, keep taking it. Keep okay. taking the aspirin and the Plavix. Okay? Okay. All right. So we'll get that scheduled for you. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if it would be this coming Wednesday or the following. Um, I don't know what works best for you, but. The sooner the, sooner the better. Yeah. We'll have to bring me anyway. We'll sooner get a time that works for y'all and, and get it done. It'll be a Wednesday coming up. Okay? Okay. All right. Come on out and chat with, uh, with Emily here at the window. We'll get you. Good to see you both. Uh -huh. I'll call you tomorrow with anything, okay? Okay, that'll work. Have a good night. Huh? What? She's going to call her tomorrow. Yeah, she'll call her tomorrow, she said. Well, tomorrow, they're Saturday. Well, they're probably open half a day on Saturday. Yeah, this time he acted very decent. He didn't last time. He might accidentally get you balance back. He said doing this, it would. Well, maybe it will.
be up here paving the day on road. Yeah. Instead of down there offside the day on the mountain. You got enough King, back seat. Yeah, King cabs are if they're full size, but I get a Z71. I, I just want it standard. I don't want it. King size, I don't like them. Thanks for riding with us, going to Mother's doctor visit. Thank God, love you.